What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Two Minute Tuesday. This is our third Two Minute Tuesday in a row so we're doing pretty good. You've got tons of great questions that you guys have been asking and I can't get to every single one of them but I am choosing uh, some of the best ones and taking pictures of those to answer for all of you guys. So if I don't necessarily get to your question this week there is a chance that I will get to your question in a future Two Minute Tuesday. Uh, but with that being said guys I just got back from a day filled with filming for our YouTube channel and I've got so much amazing stuff uh, that I'm gonna be releasing on this channel over the next couple weeks. So if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, consider smashing that subscribe button because I love to talk about Swedish culture versus American culture, among other things on this channel. I am gonna make some content about making videos as well if you guys wanna make dope videos like I do. So consider subscribing if you're not already. But with that being said, let's jump Jump right into today's content with the Two Minute Tuesday. Throw two minutes on the clock and let's get started. Tindra Klavstedt asks, what was your first impression of Sweden? Uh, my first impression of Sweden, I came here June 23rd was the first time I came to Sweden. So my first impression was like, wow, this place is absolute paradise because the sun did not go down until midnight. I thought it was really, really amazing and it was kind of like that first couple weeks on my first visit was like, wow, this place is absolutely amazing. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit different in the winter time, but I still love Sweden as a whole. This next question has to do with the language that I speak at work. Uh, Irina asks, I've always wondered if you speak English or Swedish at work. Like, do you talk to your students in Swedish or do they understand enough English for you to use that instead? Well, this is an interesting question because I've worked at two different jobs at the International English School that I worked at. I did primarily speak English, except when I had the fourth grade and fifth grade students, I had to speak Swedish even though my Swedish was really bad when I first moved here I spoke a lot of Swedish to them because that's the only thing that they could understand and it was actually really really good for me because that forced me to improve my Swedish now I'm at a Swedish school so I do speak Swedish more overall but my students are grades 7 and 9 so I can speak English with them and usually they understand a lot of times my default mode will be English because I can express myself a little bit better in my native language, but my Swedish is getting better and better and I can explain almost everything I need to explain in Swedish for my students who don't understand. And there are students out there that don't understand everything I say when I speak English. So I try to use Swedish as much as possible for them. Smila Thorne asks, what do you think about our king and queen as well as the concept of having a king and a queen? Uh, being an American, we don't have a king and queen in America, so it's a little bit weird, especially in this Swedish society where you guys praise yourselves on being equal and all these things, uh, having members of the society that are kind of born into this royal family, I think is a little bit weird. Uh, but at the same time, it's a tradition. You guys are honoring the tradition. And so I'm not going to be a hater on it. I think it's a really cool concept. In reality, the royal family doesn't have any real power from what I understand. So I don't see anything wrong with it, but it is interesting. It's an interesting concept and something that we do not have in the States. And the last question of the day, Ellie Plays says, one question where is your favorite place in Sweden and why? Uh, this is a really good question and I can't really answer this fully yet because I haven't been all around Sweden but from what I've seen primarily has been like the Stockholm area and Ostergotland and I did make a trip down to Småland. Every place you go in Sweden has its own unique appeal uh, but for me personally I love big cities like in the States I love big cities, I love New York, I love LA, uh, I love Portland which is 600,000 so it's not like a huge city by US standards but here in Sweden you could call that a big city. Uh, I absolutely love Stockholm, I think it's super beautiful. There's so much stuff to do there. If I wanted to spend my whole life in Sweden, I would probably be a Stockholm guy. I love it here in North Shoping too, but it is a little bit small and especially living in downtown North Shoping, uh, you kind of get used to seeing the same things over and over again. And I like the fact that Stockholm is such a big city and there's tons of stuff to do there. So I would have to say Stockholm for this question, but I know that Gothenburg looks really dope. I want to visit that in the summer and I have friends that live down in Malmo and I've heard a ton of great things about Malmo as well. Uh, so it's tough to say considering I haven't been to the second and third largest cities in Sweden, but from what I've seen so far, Stockholm, you're number one in my book. So that's it for Two Minute Tuesday today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to throw some more questions down in that comment section for me to answer next week. And again, guys, if I haven't gotten to your question yet, I've got a bunch of 
pictures of the best questions that I've been kind of collecting throughout the videos. And I try to read every single comment that you guys leave. So leave a comment for me if you guys want me to read it. Uh, smash that like button if that's something that you're into. Thank you so much for watching today's video and stay tuned because like I said, I've got a ton of great stuff coming out for you guys very, very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, and with that guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.